Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Prison Architect Escape Mode. So we have another little prison that I found on the workshop today. It uh, promises to be a hard escape. These little sort of clusters of maximum security blocks, I guess, that are designed to keep us in. We shall see. Also, apparently there are very few possibilities to get access to stuff to steal, so that should be interesting. Let's have a look. All right, so who are we playing as? Jason Christensen. Interesting. Nothing nothing fancy or special about you right off the bat. Okay. We're being put into the deliveries area. We're just a regular old security guy. Oh, wow, we're being taken in right away. Awesome. I always love it when... Oh, no, wait. We're just going straight into a reception. Hopefully there's room for us. I'm also starting to think that in escape mode, intake... Brings in intake, regardless of what our actual, uh, or what the prison is actually built to hold. Because this did promise to be a maximum security place, didn't it? So... That guy might be waiting a while. He might have to kill someone before they can even let him in. Ooh. Look at that holding cell. Interesting. There's a staff room here. I guess we should zoom out so we can get an idea right from the beginning what we can possibly do here. And, uh, it seems as promised. I mean, looks like everything in between the clusters are... Oh my. There's already a riot going on. Oh my goodness. Well, that might have just freed up a cell. I hope. Maybe. Oh, there is... Oh wait, parole. Parole doesn't usually have stuff to steal. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Alright, we've got to prove our our manliness right away by finding the biggest guy in the yard and killing him. Wow, they, they were not kidding when they said there was not really any options or opportunities to steal stuff. You know, this is coming as close as I have seen, I think, to my assumption of there being... What's this? And to lock up already? Oh man, this is... Uh, they were not kidding here. Oh. Okay, we gotta try doing everything we can to build up as much rep as possible. No, the dog! Come on, give me more rep. Wow. Only one rep point out of all of that. That's, uh, that's pretty rough. Alright, there's also some garbage in our cell. Okay, it's showering time, so we'll just uh, shower away. La 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 la, showering time. Smashing everything. Go, oh, oh. Come on. Ah, they've got guns! I mean, basically the idea here is we just... What are you doing? Giving me some medical treatment, huh? How good of you. And the idea is take out... Take out the... Seen a lot of things in my time. Alex Smith, former cop. Was arrested for a murder I didn't commit. Now I'm in here with the sickos that I used to put... Or something, something. I'm not very good at speeches, you see. Anyway, so as you can guess, we kind of died there. Like, uh... Those guys with the guns, if you can't take them out right away, they are they are going to kill you. It's unfortunate, but that's how it works. Man. But it is something. <laughs> like, something indeed, trying to... Is uh, someone going to take me to my cell? You know what, I'll just, I'll just escort myself to my cell. I don't need you guys. It actually occurs to me that getting thrown in the holding cells is what we want, because you'll notice that it's a free shot once we, uh, get there. So, I don't know, maybe if we can destroy- find a way to destroy the cells that they have to put us in there, or something. Hmm. And there's no contraband in the canteen, unfortunately. In fact, there's not really any opportunities for contraband at all that I'm seeing. Which is most unfortunate. 
Most unfortunate indeed. Let's go start punching up right away. The name's Paul Miller, former business executive. I used to have it all. Money, women, power, fame, the whole thing. But one day I got a little too greedy. Made a couple deals that were a bit too good to be true. Now here I am, repaying my debt to society. So as you can tell, I died again. I mean, the thing is, as soon as those guys with the guns show up, if you can't take them out, it's pretty much game over for you. I, I think what we have to do is try getting access to the kitchen so we can get a knife. Because we, we need something with some real killing power here. And even better would be the possibility of uh, getting ourselves... Like, I, want, I wonder if there are any offices in here. Okay, there's some guy over there. I mean... Ugh. Pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Alright, Mr. Miller, let's see if you've got what it takes to be a star. I promised myself I wouldn't kill another dog! Nope, nope, I surrender. Oh, thank God we survived that, somehow. Come on, let me out! I don't belong in here! I don't belong with these animals! Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. Nope, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to... Not gonna instigate too much just yet. What we want is all our rep. Because we've got to get ourselves some points. Oh no! Wow, I killed the dog. Oh my god. Why, game? Why do you make me do these things? What have I become? Oh, please don't. Please don't shoot me, officer. Okay, I surrender. I surrender. Oh god! Oh, I made him drop his gun! So long, suckers! Haha, <laughs> I did it! I did it! La 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 Just enjoying a fine day out for a stroll. La 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 Just, uh, knock out the power here. I mean, who really needs power, right? I certainly don't. I'm kind of surprised that just being here where I clearly don't belong is not causing more of a stir. Hello, sir. Oh no, we, we... We don't just knock people unconscious here, we beat them to death. I mean, Paul Miller, he was just a former business executive, so he knows what it means to fight. To survive- oh god. Let's see here, is there anyone left alive in our, uh, block? Excuse me, officer. I'm trying to have some business with my colleagues here. Oh my god, what have they done with their hands? What have you done? Lutheran, eh? Benjamin Lutheran. Ah, he's strong. Alright. Everyone follow me. We're getting out of here today. I have to be honest. Most of you will probably die. You're all effectively meat shields to keep me safe, really. All right, let's uh, let's see here. Tough, tough, tough. Make you all deadly. Maybe quick as well. There we go. Wrong. Why not? All right, lads. Now's the time. First, we take over the cell block. Grab the keys, gentlemen. We're getting out of here, today. All right, lads. We're going to engage in a little civil disobedience. Grab his keys. We've got the keys. All right, everyone. It's time to get out of here. Ah, oh, I was taken out like a scrub. Ah, I'm stuck in the door. Give me those keys. All right, guys, let's go. Run. Now's our chance. Screw Paul Miller. What did Paul Miller ever do for us? Nothing, that's what. Come on, someone open the door. Quick. Ah. <laughs> we were so close. I think we have what it takes now. We are going to just... We're just going to run through the front door. Everyone okay with that? I hope so. Everyone, run! 
You guys aren't don't appear to be running. I can't help but notice you're not running. Here, guys, I'll get the door for you. You're all scrubs, you know that? That's right. You ain't got not. Oh, God. I'm gonna run the long way just to show how much better I am than all you. Haha, we did it! Yeah! That's right, Paul Miller leaves men behind. What are you gonna do about it? Ha 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 Paul Miller got what he wanted. The corrupt corporate executive wins again. A true lesson in life, isn't it? <laughs> ah, that was actually a pretty challenging uh, prison to get out of, but all you need to do is, uh, you just need to get the ball rolling, and once you get a bit of rep and can get a squad together. I, I really should have tried to get everyone out, but the unfortunate thing is, once people start fighting, they don't really follow you. So unless I gave everyone keys so that I could get everyone one after the other. I kind of wish there was a bit more control over the squad, like if you could tell them to just drop everything and just run, that would make things so much easier. Because then I could say, don't don't bother fighting guys, we're just making a break for it. Nothing else matters. But anyway, that's going to do it for another episode of Prison Architect, so I hope you all enjoyed. As always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.